All right, today I am going to show you how to stack the dip straight to self-custody using Bitcoin well. Let's jump in. Now, quick disclaimer, this video is directed towards those of you who are in the US or Canada, and I know that is the majority of you, but Bitcoin Well at this time supports those geographies, so do be advised. But why did I wanna make this video? Having high quality ways to source Bitcoin, especially during bull markets, is super, super important. Right, you've got things like Coinbase going down, being unavailable, and furthermore, having multiple ways of sourcing Bitcoin is a good thing. And in my recommendation, that should include a range of things. It could include, you know, traditional exchanges. I recently covered River, for example, on the channel. Today I'm covering Bitcoin well. It could also include peer-to-peer -peer ways of acquiring Bitcoin, such as BISC or RoboSats. I have videos on the channel for that too. You could do some mining, you could sell services for Bitcoin. There's lots of different ways and you do wanna be thinking about having a diversified set of ways to source Bitcoin in case something happens to any of those methods. And so I only cover exchanges very, very selectively on this channel, but Bitcoin Well passes that test. Why? Bitcoin Well is a Bitcoin only exchange and they essentially brand themselves as a self-custody platform as you will see in the walkthrough in just a moment, you literally have to put a Bitcoin address as part of your onboarding so that when you buy Bitcoin, it is going straight to your self-custody. That is a huge deal. Not only is Bitcoin well not holding custody of your Bitcoin, they are basically disabling that scenario from happening in the first place. And then when you think of some of the basics of any of these exchanges, they've got fast account verification. There are no extra fees that get added for that kind of self-custody automatic process. They have a flat 1% trading fee. And side note, if you happen to be in Canada, you can check out one of their 200 ATMs in their ATM network to grab yourself some non-KYC sats. If privacy is important to you, I would urge you to check this out. Up to $1,000, you can just straight up walk up to one of these ATMs, insert cash, present the Bitcoin address that you want it to be sent to, and that is it. There is no KYC. That is crazy. I just want to underscore how wild that is in the year 2024. Again, up to a thousand. If you go over a thousand, I do think there's information you need to put in. But I was just talking earlier this week with one of my one-on-one -on -one, uh, consulting clients and you know, he's just absolutely wrestling with how do I get my hands on non-KYC sats? And I was just going through like all these different methods and how all the ATM networks these days have you putting in all this information and verification, all this nonsense. So I just wanted to give a quick plug there. I mean, shoot, if you're in the US and you live close enough to Canada, I would be crossing the border just for those non-KYC sats. Additionally, I've had the pleasure of getting to know Adam and the team at Bitcoin Well, and they are the real deal. And finally, a little cherry on top, they are currently running their Bitcoin jackpot uh, sort of sweepstakes. Basically, if you go on their platform and you do different tasks, whether it's verifying your uh, account, you know, making your first buy, they have a little education quiz, you can basically earn points that you can put into this uh, sweepstakes and earn yourself a chance to win the jackpot, which will be announced on the Bitcoin having about a month from now, a couple weeks from now. All right, so here we are on bitcoinwell.com. You can see a couple of the menu options at the top, but really where we wanna get started is simply here, entering an email to get started. And we've put in a password. If you do have a referral code, you can enter that in here. I will provide mine in the description down below if you want to use that. We'll agree to the terms and service and continue. And then we will claim our well tag. So maybe we do something like raise your major. All right, and then importantly, you'll choose your geography, US or Canada, I will choose US and we have created our account. And so we are now brought to our Bitcoin Well dashboard. You can see the different options along the left, as well as importantly, these onboarding steps that we want to complete. So step one, confirm our email. And as we can see, that basically looks like the following. So we'll go ahead and activate our account. So success. 
So that step is complete. Now we can confirm our mobile number. And that's interesting. It looks like it's just basically confirming that it's a real number. Um, I didn't receive any actual text verification. Uh, next, we will verify our identity. And so it looks like this is using a service called Persona. So we'll hit begin verifying. We'll do a driver's license in our case. And actually, since my laptop uh, camera is not super great, I'm just going to actually upload a photo of this. So I'll do that and be right back. And it is processing the information as we can see. And then it is going to do this little kind of selfie uh, verification to make sure it's you. And congrats, you're done. Thanks for verifying your identity. Um, so it's going to process that. We'll see how long that takes. Uh, it looks like it might be done. Let's see if we go back. Okay, very cool. So that is quick, I will say. Um, you can also see that we're starting to accrue some points here in our top right. We'll talk about that uh, a little bit more later. Next in our onboarding, we can link a bank account. And so we'll hit add account. And this is going to use Plaid, which is gonna be a familiar service for those of you that have used uh, other exchanges. Let's go ahead and hit continue. And we will use our phone number to authenticate in. Okay, and so Plaid will step you through the process of uh, connecting your bank account. So that is all done. And we can finally come back. And the final step, and this is super important, is to add a receiving address. And this is kind of the whole point, right? This is basically sending Bitcoin that you buy straight to your own wallet. And so let's go ahead and add new wallet. And so let's give this wallet a label. And I'm going to paste in a fresh, never used Bitcoin address. It would be nice if you could put in something like an extended public key and it sort of automatically rotates that for you every time you make a buy. But there you go. I guess you could always add additional wallets or new receive addresses each time you, you buy. And oh, by the way, if you're new to Bitcoin, you're like, well, how the heck do I re generate a receive address? you're going to be able to generate a receive address using any number of Bitcoin wallet software. I have just done so down here from Sparrow. I've done a couple tutorials on Sparrow Wallet, which is one of my very favorites, but I have a whole host of other videos on the channel that will show you how to receive Bitcoin, generate receive addresses uh, in various Bitcoin wallet software that you could then paste into here. Okay, new address added. So we can now start stacking. So let's buy now and let's do something like $200. We are going to basically uh, deposit that USD and so we'll go ahead and deposit. Your money is in flight. So we can go to the dashboard. So my account is now being funded. And while we're waiting, we can take a look at some of the other features within our dashboard. So obviously you've got this uh, buy tab where you can go and fund your account as we just saw. You can buy gift cards. So you've got all sorts of gift cards that you can uh, buy with Bitcoin. Uh, wallet management, so you can so you can come and see your wallet, see what's in use, uh, add new wallets, etc. You can get some context on transaction limits. So here we can see our funding limits per transaction per day, per week. Uh, so not too shabby there. We can see our bank connections if we ever need to add an additional account that we want to fund uh, Bitcoin well purchases through. Uh, there is this handy Bitcoin knowledge quiz, right, that we can complete. If you get 10 out of 10, you get some rewards points, which is also nice. Uh, and then we can also see the rewards tab here, my rewards. Okay, so there you go. So it's actually more uh, 210 points for the knowledge quiz. You get some points for, for verifying your identity. Uh, mobile phone confirmation, etc. And so the main redemption option here is that uh, jackpot entry. So that is pretty cool. So the jackpot is up to 2.9 million sats. Uh, so you better believe we are about to cast uh, some points into there. And you better believe we're going to do it again because we're going to get another entry point. Okay, so we've got two entries into the Bitcoin jackpot that is ongoing and that will be finalized with the halving. 
So get in here, get some points. You can hit this earn points uh, to, to figure out how to get more. And then there will be more points that I'll be getting after my first buy. So that is cool. Come back to home. And you can see some of those also reflected on the right here. So if you want to refer your friends, you can get your referral link here. So if you want to use mine, I will put this in the description down below. But that is about it for now. Let's go ahead and give some time for the funds to be pulled from my bank. And then we will be right back. All right. And we are set so we can go ahead and now finally buy some Bitcoin. We are going to grab the full $200 worth. We can see the amount that that is going to get us and where it is going. Quick note, you do want to be thoughtful with your UTXO size. And I would probably recommend at this point to be trying to stack UTXOs of a size of at least 500,000 sats. This, as you can see, is uh, just about 300,000. You can always consolidate smaller UTXOs at a later point in time. But just keep in mind, as on-chain fees stay elevated and potentially grow further over time, that is going to become a bigger and bigger deal. If that is a new concept for you, I would invite you to check out the video I did not too long ago about preparing for that and consolidating UTXOs, what all of that means. So definitely go check that out. But I wanted to mention that here, just given the specifics of this example that I'm showing. But let's go ahead and buy that Bitcoin and we'll go ahead and hit buy. All right, and so I can uh, presumably click on this and see the transaction in the mempool. So that is great. As we can see, it is placed in the next block here and we can go back to our dashboard and you can always see that information in your transaction history as follows with the uh, receiving address here. And so there we go. We can see that new uh, transaction that has hit my Sparrow wallet and we can see the transaction as pending. So there we go. Buying Bitcoin directly to your self custody. Let's go ahead and conclude today's video. All right. So there you have it. Today we took a look at Bitcoin well as yet another method by which you can source Bitcoin. Again, if you are in the US or Canada. But again, in my view, great user experience. This is a company that is absolutely upholding the ethos of Bitcoin. But I'm curious to hear what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on Bitcoin well? Are there other methods of acquiring Bitcoin? that you would like to see covered in the future on the channel? Let me know in the comments down below, but I hope you found this valuable and insightful. If you did, you already know what to do. Give this video a like, use the share feature underneath this video that really does help get this to a wider audience. And if you're so enamored with this content, you wanna to donate to a pleb, which really does help me continue to make these videos. You can do so in a number of ways. You can use the YouTube super thanks feature built directly into YouTube, or you can send some sats to my lightning address, ragermajor at getalbi.com. Finally, for those of you that want some more one-on-one -on -one support and help, consulting, mentoring, et cetera, you can reach out to me on Vita. That is vita.page slash Ian Major. I think you could also do vita.io slash Ian Major, but you can basically message me there. And I now have a range of folks that I'm working with one-on-one -on, -one on all sorts of questions, you know, how to run a node, how to accept Bitcoin payments for your business, how to set up a multi-sig, how to take self-custody, the cold card, you name it. So I just wanted to mention that I've gotten some really, really good feedback from people that, hey, just the ability to kind of talk to someone live is a huge, huge help in navigating this learning curve that is Bitcoin. With all that, we'll go ahead and leave things here. As a reminder, every sack counts. And until next time, my friends, I'll see you then.